All right, guys, <clears throat> I'm back. Welcome to episode 34 of Star Trek Saturday Night. Guest starring OBS. OBS, I got to tell you right now, guys, is awful. Oh, one second. OBS is awful when you're trying to do transition from one one different type of scene to another. Or another, you know, one different type of scene within a source to another. Sometimes it just will not work, and there's no reason why. <clears throat> you can set everything up and have it all set up, and then when you go to switch to it, decides it doesn't want to work anymore. So, but as Mr. Scott would do, I went through it, I found the problem, and I fixed it. So we're ready to go. So Star Trek Saturday Night, Episode 34, Delta Rising. Now, we're going to get to why the title of the episode is Delta Rising. we got a lot of stuff to cover tonight. A lot of stuff going on. Um, but first thing is first, let's get to the basic news for this week. Let's get to the, just let's get to the, just the regular old news for this week. Uh, if you didn't already know, which I'm sure you probably did, there, uh, this weekend, um, until, let's see, August 4th. Yeah, that's what I thought. So until August 4th, from July 31st, which we've already gone by, obviously, until August 4th, uh, we will we are having a research and development weekend. Um, you'll be uh, getting um, an extra 25% um, items for the duration of the event, or dispersed at, at 25% extra. So um, research and development packs available in the CSER will give out 11 extra R&D materials, will give out 11 extra R&D materials, 3 extra R&D components, yeah, you know, along those lines. Also... You'll be getting 50% ex, uh, extra XP uh, in your research and development schools. So, if you're doing the 6,000 XP research and development, it will be 9,000 XP research and development. You're doing the 20-hour one, uh, which is one I actually usually do because it gets the best bang for the buck, I think. Uh, you can set it and forget it. You know what I mean? So that is well worth you doing, uh, getting your XP projects out this weekend. So if you're not doing that, if you're doing regular ones, whatever, you know, by all means. Um, if you want to buy any R&D packs in the C-Store, this is the weekend to do it. So 25% off. Uh, or I mean, to get extra, uh, not 20% off, get 25% extra items out of those packages is well worth it. Uh, if you're going to, if you're interested in that and you want to do that, so. The next thing we have going on right now, which is even more interesting to me because I need these things a lot, 15% uh, off services. There's a 15% off services sale. So what does that include, Yeti? That includes account shared bank slots, account bank slots, account inventory slots, account ship loadout slots, Captain Rename Token, Captain Retrain Bundle, Captain Retrain Token, Commendation Point Boost, Duty Officer Roster Slots, 100 or 25. I need those. Federation Starter Pack, four character slots, large combination point boost, large XP boost, two bridge officer slots, two character slots, two costume slots, two ship slots, XP boost, and energy credit cap increase. <sighs> and they also mentioned the research and develop packs again, which we already talked about. So 15% off. Um, so buy them now. I think I might have to pick me up a little bit of Zen. Because I need to buy some more bank and all that stuff. I need... This is the kind of sale I need. Um, I might pick up a couple slip, ship slots. I think I might be at my max in ship slots. I have, to, I have, Which I don't even know why. I have a million ships. But I never use any of them. Because I'm always flying indefatigable. Because uh, I can't just... I can't just... I can't just... I don't know. I gotta start... I gotta try some new flavors here. You know? I gotta try all these new... Sh try all these ships I have that I never bother to fly. Want to jump back in my Defiant? You know, I'm to, uh, so anyways, uh, yeah, so there you go. 15% off services sale. That lasts until August 4th as well. So the R&D weekend and the 15% off services will end on August 4th. 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, which would be 1 p.m. Eastern Time for you guys. So, um, which I believe is Monday, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, second, third, fourth. Yes, Monday. So it's Monday. So, take advantage of those two things. Those are actually really good sales. The 15% off services sale is a really good sale. Um, and if you were paying attention and you got 15% extra Zen, well, you know, you got Zen when the 15% uh, sale, and you get this, it's almost like getting 30% off. So, 
Yeah, if you don't already have, yeah, energy cap increases, yeah, a no-brainer, yeah. Um, so, there you go. Um, so, I guess that's it. I guess we're all done with the show tonight. Nothing else really happened today. I mean, you know, it was a pretty boring day for Stowe. Nothing else really happened. Uh, you know, I mean, pff, nah, eh, just, you know, regular old, you know, uh, Star Trek Online day. You know. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There was something. Wait a minute. Let me try to think. Wasn't there something going on somewhere? Where was it? Where was it? Verona? No, no. Was it Venice? Um, was it was it Los Angeles? Uh, I'm trying to think. Where was it? Where was it? Oh, it was in Las Vegas. Oh, Las Vegas. That's right. Something happened in Las Vegas today. And I think there was this little, t like, little tiny gathering. I think there was some little little meeting of of, of uh, I think there's some little thing going on out there called a convention the official oh I don't know Star Trek convention in Vegas ah yes that's right Star Trek 2014 in Vegas ah yes the 2014 Star Trek convention the main convention the convention to end all conventions for the year um, yes the official she just said the official uh, which this year is saluting DS9 I believe uh, but that's not what we care about what we care about is the fact that there was a Star Trek Online panel today. Um, now, I tried to get a video for it, and I can't find video yet for it. When I do find video for it, I will, if I can find a video of the entire panel, I will try and get that in next week's show. I couldn't do it, so what I tried to do was get the highlights. I, now, I wasn't able to watch it because I was broadcasting. I was doing it for the people today. I was out there broadcasting for the people. Um, but... These are pretty much the highlights. I kind of skimmed over the net. And also the uh, 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 Yeti news service uh, in the form of SFC was on top of the, on top of things this afternoon when I wasn't able to be. Uh, so, But these are some of the things I looked on the Reddit, looked online. It's not everything. Okay, it's not everything. But it's pretty much the highlights of what's going to be coming. Um, so the next expansion, second expansion, because Romulan, Romulan was the legacy of Romulus was the first expansion. Uh, the second expansion is Delta Rising. It's going to be called Delta Rising because it's going to be the Delta Quadrant. The Delta Quadrant is going to be open. Um, it's now tentatively scheduled for, but remember, this can always slide. You know, it could slide in November or whatever. This is tentatively scheduled to drop live in October of twenty October of this year, 2014. Estimated. Um, now that could be pushed back when it gets into testing because we're not even it's not even on the test server yet or anything like that so that could all get pushed back um, but that's tentatively what they would like to get it out for is October which is not that far away we're in August now um, that's two months away so that's not really that far so they must have been working on this they must have been working on this behind the scenes for a long long time to be two months to think to, to them to come out and announce October 2014 for them to think that they're two months away from releasing this much content they must have been working on this for a long long time now I'm gonna go through these bullet point by bullet point and like I said this is not all definite this is just a for sure now I know there are like SFC saying in the chat about Tim Russ and Garrett Wang I'm sure there are more actors coming there I'm sure there are more what I heard them mention was Tim Russ and Garrett Wang so I'm gonna go with that for now and when they announce more actors we will announce more actors so the first thing is the expansion of the existing level cap from 50 to 60 so you will have Fleet Masters, Dahar Masters. I don't know what the Romulan is going to be for, for a level 60. I don't know what the designation is. I didn't see anything about that. I didn't. I don't know if they said anything officially about that. So I have I put a question mark there. Maybe it'll be, you know, sub uh, vice admiral or whatever or something. You know, who knows. But um, I'm sure there'll be a Romulan designation. So um, Now 50 to 60, I'm sure they're going to be having new skills. Uh, you know, and they're going to have to have a whole new tier of skills, um, all that stuff. But who knows what that's going to be? Because they're, they're, other than the basic, what they're announcing, they're pretty much keeping their cards close to the, close to the vest about what else is there. So, you know, they're, they're giving us as general an idea as they can without giving specifics, which is fine because I understand because things can change between now and then too. So, um, so level cap goes from 50 to 60, so we'll get 10 more levels. Um, and we've been at 50 for a while. 
uh, I don't know if that's good or bad. I mean, that's not a matter of good or bad. That's just going to be more, you know, content. That's just so they can have the new, you know, level of items and new level of ships. So, which leads into the next ones. There's going to be a new Mark 14 items, phasers. I'm sure, you know, I'm assuming phasers, shields, everything. Uh, you're going because you're going to have a new tier of rank. You know, you're going to have a new tier of rank, uh, Fleet Admiral, the Hard Master. So now we're going to have, you know, Mark 12, and you go to Mark 14, basically. Um, so Mark 14 items, which will go along with the new max level cap. Um, not much on what those items are, but we can assume they're phasers and their deflector shields and their shields and, you know, impulse engines and all that good stuff. So, you know, pretty much all the items we have now, which I'm sure they're going to throw in some new items, you know, some new different kind of items too. So, um, tier six ships. Now they're, now they haven't said anything about tier six versions of like, let's say a galaxy class or intrepid or anything like that. That's not to say there won't be those. And I'm thinking there might be some, you know, Tier 6 ships, like a Tier 6 Galaxy or Tier 6 Intrepid class. But I don't know. That's not, you know, they haven't said anything about that. What he has, what Gecko has said, and I've seen it quoted, is they will have, the Tier 6 ships will have exclusive abilities that the Tier 5 ships don't have. Now, everybody's like, well, my Tier 5 ship's going to suck now. My Tier 5 ship is useless. It's not useless. Tier 5 ships, as I wrote, will be upgradable to Tier 6. Meaning hit point wise, shield, all that stuff. But, but, and this is a but now, this is now, this is, you know, they will not receive the exclusive abilities that the tier six ships will have. Okay? These tier six ships will have abilities that no matter how you upgrade your, no matter that you upgrade your tier five ships, these tier five ships that you have will never have those abilities. They just won't. Because they want you to get tier six ships. You know what I mean? If they, if you could upgrade your tier five ships, be just because a tier six ship. Why would you get a new tier six ship? And you got to remember this. Cryptic does need to make money. Okay, they do need to make money. Now you might think it's a jip, and I might think it's a jip at some point. I don't know. I don't have enough information. We don't know anything about this. We can't say anything. Now, if there's a way in, in game to earn these tier six ships, that's fine. Now, on the other hand, if they're C-Store exclusive where you have to pay to get Tier 6 ships in actual money, then that might smell of a little play to win and people might have a problem. But we don't know any of that yet. What we do know is these Tier 6 ships will have abilities that you cannot have in your Tier 5 ships, even if you upgrade them. Now, we don't know yet how are you going to be able to get the Tier 6 ships. So, until we know how you get your Tier 6 ship... We can't say anything because I've seen people already in the forums and on Reddit going, whoa, what the hell? They're going to try and get more money out of us and they're going to make us buy tier six ships on the store and blah, 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 blah. We don't know that yet. We have no idea how tier six ships are going to go. As long as there's a way to get some of them free in game, that's fine. Because just like tier five ships, so, you know, Scimitar and all that. They're in the C store. You have to buy them. It's okay if they have some tier six ships on the C store because they do have to make some money. I'm sorry, the Zen store, whatever you want to call it. I still call it the C store. So that's whatever. You know what I mean? So, well, we are getting new ship. We are getting new ships now. And they teased out like almost that there's going to be cruisers, science, escort, and almost like there might be a fourth class of ships now. There might be a new fourth class of ships. But I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know about that. That's kind of like rumor now that's kind of like inference because a lot of the answers they gave were deliberately ambiguous that you could kind of they weren't terribly specific so you could read into a lot of things so we're going to try not to um next a new type of bridge officer i haven't seen what type of bridge what this bridge officer is going to do what department it's going to be in i'm sure it's going to be another department like you know you have chief of engineering chief medical officer well, who knows what? Who knows what the new bridge officer is going to department is going to be? So I'm assuming by new type of bridge officer they mean a new department. You know, you're going to have an additional bridge officer. I might be wrong, but that seems like what it's saying to me. So um, I'm sorry I'm not getting a chat right now. I will get the chat after. I will, but I want to get through all the bullet points first. Um, all right, new races. Because you're going into the Delta Quadrant, you're going to encounter the races that we've seen in the Delta Quadrant. We have Talaxians, Okampans, Kazan, Hierarchy, uh, Melon, uh, Hazari. Um, maybe we'll see the Think Tank. No, <laughs> probably not. Um, 
so you have all the new races and you will encounter them and uh, now I'm not sure how those interactions are going to be will you be able to get duty officers from these planets I'm assuming probably you'll have duty officer missions maybe you can get do get an Ocomp get Ocomp and duty officers and things like that or maybe you can get a Talaxian bridge officer you know I'm sure that's I don't want to say I'm sure that's going to happen but I'm sure that's not out of the realm of possibility um, so you have, and then more races than what you see there. I'm sure there's going to be even more races. If you think about all the Delta Quadrant races Voyager encountered, I'm sure there's more than that. But that's what we kind of know right now. So that's what we know right now. So those are new races. All right, next, voice acting. I should say, I should have put, I was going to put additional, but additional voice acting by Tim Russ and voice acting Nudisto by Garrett Wang. Um, and there's going to be additional also voiceover stuff. There's going to be additional actors doing voiceover work, but I didn't hear them in the I didn't hear them announce any other people at the panel. So I'm not going to sit here and say for sure who it is or when it is, whatever. But we know for sure Tim Russ is going to be continuing to provide voiceovers, and Garrett Wang is going to join Stowe providing voiceovers. So we know those two. So I can say those for sure. Um, now, I heard at the panel, Garrett Wang got promoted to Lieutenant Junior Grade. So, he's not an ensign anymore, apparently. Now he's Lieutenant... Uh, is it is it Wong? Last name is pronounced Wong? Okay, Garrett Wong. Okay, I apologize. I don't usually... I don't, I don't usually remember ensign's names like that. Um, now, yeah, I heard he might be captain of Rhode Island, but I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what he's going to be in there? Um, that would that would imply that he's uh, higher than an ensign if he's a captain of a ship. So I'm not sure about that. Um, you know, I know I know in the I know at the panel I heard that he got promoted to lieutenant junior grade. So maybe they let him be in command just for you know having been there so long. Uh, <laughs> I don't I don't know. Uh, so Garrett Wong, I'm sorry about that. Garrett Wong, which really screws me up. But Garrett Wong, did, did I misspell it there? Is it Wong? Maybe I misspelled it on there. I I apologize. I apologize. Um, so, new Voyager interiors and improved Intrepid model. So, I don't know how that's going to work in the sense of, are you going to get the Voyager interiors? I'm assuming they're going to have it for sale on the C store, like they did with the DS, not with the like they did with the Defiant Bridge. Uh, with that, I, I, you know, the whole, you know, I think they're. I'm assuming they're going to have it in a package deal. Uh, kind of like they did with the Constitution class bridge and the Defiant bridge, you know, where they have a pack. I'm assuming there's going to be a Voyager pack in the C store, um, where they'll have the Voyager bridge and maybe something else, you know, some other stuff. I'm sure they'll come up with a whole, you know, bundle of stuff for Voyager. Um, but I'm sure the, but that's separate from the improved Intrepid model because that will just be in the game. So, um, <clears throat> But I, I'm pretty excited for that because I like the uh, Voyager. I like the Voyager bridge layout. I thought it was a very nicely designed bridge. So that'll be really cool to have that in the game, uh, the Voyager interior. New storyline content throughout the Delta Quadrant. Um, basically, the Delta Quadrant will there. From what it sounded like, what they said, like I watched a little bit of you know the the, the panel, just a little though. But from what I was gathering, there's going to they're putting in a ton of story content in the quadrant, um, continuing the story line, you know, continuing what's going on in the game. Um, now, what is that all going to entail? I don't know. How much is it going to be? I don't know. They made it. They made it sound like there's going to be a substantial amount of, you know, uh, P versus E content in there, in the sense of storyline, missions, you know, things like that, which I would love. That's my thing is story. So if they do a lot of missions, questing missions, you know, like, you know, our classic quest missions, that would be excellent. Excellent. I would love that. Love that. <clears throat> um, now, there's other things I didn't put in here. There's uh, uh, what I heard was a new player advancement system, a new player advancement system for your captain. Um, that I heard is going to be in there. I forget a new skill, new new way to differentiate differentiate your differentiate your captain from other captains. A new skill tree uh, advancement system they're going to have in there, which sounds good to me. Um, what else? I'm trying to think now. Um, oh, uh, I heard something about exploration content, but I don't know what that means exactly. So I'm not really going to. I saw a few places, something about the exploration content uh, in Delta Rising. 
I'm not sure if that's something different than what they're doing now as far as, you know, duty officer, you know, running duty officer missions. So I can't, I mean, they haven't really said much. I can't say anything about that. So, um, but there's a lot of stuff in this expansion. It looks like there's a lot of stuff. Now, how many quadrants will the, you know, Delta Quad, or how many, you know, sectors will the Delta Quadrant take up? Who knows? Could it be four? Could it be eight? Could it be 12? <clears throat> you know, how big will that map be? We don't know. We don't know. I mean, this is a lot already, but this, all of these things bring up a whole bunch of subtopics and a whole bunch of sub issues and information that you want to know. So, you know, this is only that this is the tip of, I said all this stuff and I'm going through all this stuff with you guys, but this is the tip of the ice. This is the, just the tip of the iceberg. This is just the tip. As far as, I mean, there is a lot. This is maybe 20%, 10% of what, um, you know, any, this is like 10% of what's going on in the expansion right now. This is the very barest. It's like an iceberg. This is the top you see. But there's a whole bunch underneath that we don't even know about yet. So, uh, so this is what we've got this so this is the basic stuff that i was able to cobble together in my so totally advanced graphical <laughs> overlay here but that's enough to get you excited that's enough to get you excited um so let me go back to chat because i'm sure chat's been going off i can see it going you know down 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 um so let me get in here my crack uh my crack news crew uh so the etn the video is monday according to sfc monday uh, will be the video will release on Monday. So I will then, if that is the case, I will somehow try to download it and I, or get a link or whatever, and I will show it next week at the beginning of the show. We will do the entire next week. We'll be sh viewing the developer panel. That's that's what we'll do first off next week. So, uh, Romulans have the name Vice, so probably Fleet Admiral. Okay, I was thinking for something like that for the Romulans, but you know what? Who knows though? They might want to differenti differentiate them some na somehow. You know what I mean? They might come up with something else. I was going to say Praetor, but you couldn't do that because there's only one Praetor. Um, now, I'm sure none of these races are playable. I'm sure all the new races are just who you'll encounter. You'll just meet them. So, um... <laughs> Neelix, we got a Neelix out there. Uh, there's new skill progression. Yeah, we went through the skill progression system. Um... Right. So it's almost like in WoW they have, uh, I forget, it's been so long since I've played WoW, but they put in that system where you can um, um, uh, enhance your abilities and things like that, enhance certain one of your, you know, enhance certain powers. I'm thinking something like that. Uh, uh, may, let me see. Uh, so. I'm a little worried about Tier 6 ships. Uh, I, I'm, I'm reading um, in the chat. I, I'm a little worried about Tier 6 ships as far as Zen goes. If they make tier six ships, you have to buy your tier six ships. Or like I'm just uh, as long as they don't make it play to win. As long as they don't come on play to win. Like right now you buy ships in the C store. They're still basically on par with what you can get in game, I think. Um pretty much. You know, they have special consoles and stuff, but it's not game breaking. You know, I mean they're better, but they're not game breakingly better. You know, anything like that. Oh excuse me. Uh, now, but if they make these tier six, sh tier six ships, a C store exclusive, and there's no way to get them in game unless you spend money on them, then I'll have a problem with it. I'll have a real big problem with it. Um, because your tier five ships will never be as good as your tier five ships upgraded to tier six will probably never be as good as a tier six ship. And I'm sure that there's a reason for that because they want you to go out and get tier six ships. They don't want everybody upgrading tier five ships. They want them to go get tier six ships. So, you know, I mean, it's just the nature of the beast. <clears throat> so, um, let me see. Let me see if anyone else thinks uh, Delta Rising release October. Now, I'm not sure what the cost of it's going to be. Don't I don't know what the cost is going. I'm sure lifetime and uh, lifetime subscribers and subscribers will get it free. But if you're free to play, I don't know if it's going to cost you money or what it's going to cost or what. Or if there's going to be some kind of, like, what in the, what in it is going to cost you money? Like, you know, we had the Legacy of Romulus, Romulus 
we had certain packs for ships and stuff like that. I'm sure there'll be something, you know, to do with tier six ships or whatever, whatever, you know, for money. I mean, I'm sure the expand the expansion itself won't cost you money, but I'm sure there'll be something tied to it, you know, some kind of pack of something, you know, that that will cost you money. So, um, Garrett Wong, I feel bad I got it wrong. Garrett Wong, it's spelled oh, spell. So I got the spelling right. I just mis mispronounced it. Okay. My science officer owns the Intrepid, so I'll be really uh, interested to see how that goes. Because I really like that interior. Um, so, yeah, I'm wondering how much the Delta Quadrant is going to be mapped out. That'll be, that'll be, but they can expand on it. They can start out with, a, you know, I was, uh, someone, in, someone uh, uh, we, we unchat somebody saying, you know, how much of it is mapped out? I'm sure it's not, not a big part. And uh, somebody else is saying it's not a big part. Um. But I think they can. But they, they they can add on to it. They're just trying to get a beachhead going. You know, they're trying to start it off, and I'm sure they can expand it when they need to. So no exploration now for Delta Rising. So Delta Rising, a lot of structural changes might hold interest of new players. Yes, they, it might. It might. Choice of whether you want a relaxing dictator's kitchen. <laughs> no, 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 Voyager for a choice of whether or not you want a relaxing dictator's kitchen. Oh. Jerry Ryan and Delta Ryzen or Ion install. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. That Yeah, she's probably too expensive for them. I would love to see if they got Robert Picardo to voice an EMH program. That would be... Now, I can see that coming. I can see them getting Robert Picardo to, to voice the EME, EMH, and you go into your sick bay, and there'll be a little thing that says uh, engage EMH or engage emergency medical hologram, and he'll come on and be like, what state the nature of your medical emergency? That would... Uh, yeah. Um, uh, let me see expansions are oh yeah I saw expansions are free yeah I'm sure but I'm thinking there'll be some kind of pack associated with like there was the, like the legacy pack uh, tier six <laughs> tier six Miranda I saw a thread in Reddit somebody was already starting a T six Constitution class thread somebody was already throwing it out there and you know that they can't happen they're not gonna let they're not going to let that happen. Uh, I forget who it is they deal with. CB I think it's CBS they deal with. Yeah, because CBS has the original franchise, you know, original, the, the universe we're in, not the Abrams one. Um, CBS is never going to let them put a Tier 6 Constitution in there. I cannot see how they would ever let them have a T6 Constitution. Any kind of T, any kind of T5 or T6 or whatever. Because, I mean... I'll tell you what, though. If there was a T6 Constitution, there is no way you're getting that in game. You're going to the C store and you're paying money for that, because there is no way they're not going to make money off of that. So, um, all my money to Intrepid. I'm going to get the Intrepid interior. I'm definitely going to do that. If it has an EMH, it's a buy. It's a definite buy. Newest expansion will be interactive VHS at Stars Q. <laughs> CBS the only way to be not include the Connie skin. Yeah, but they're not going to do that. I mean, they're just not going to do it without this. If they if they can't put a Connie in the game, they're not going to put it in. You know, if they can't put a tier six, because people want the tier six, this not going to happen. I mean, it's not. I don't. I can't ever see it coming into the game. I just can't. There's too many licensing. The CBS is not going to let them do it. I just. I don't know. I just can't see him do it. We're lucky we got the original series bridge. You know what I mean? I mean, I was shocked when we got the original series bridge and, and, and interior and everything. I love that. But it doesn't play well with my role play. Like, I can't put that on a Galaxy class ship because it's going to look ridiculous. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's going to look ridiculous. Yeah, let me be into my Galaxy class bridge and I've got, um, you know what I'm saying? I've got a, a, a Constitution class bridge there. Yeah, but I love that bridge. Oh God, I love that bridge. I love that. I wish I could use it more, but I just it breaks the it breaks the thing for me if I put it on a ship that it doesn't belong. Oh yeah, T six Constitution. Do you know how much money they'd make? I mean, let me put it this way, guys. Cryptic, I know wants to get a T. They can tell you all they want in like forums and chat and all that stuff. Like, oh well, we don't want a T. Or no, not no, 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 no. They can be like, well, we can't get a T six Connie, and we're okay with it and all that stuff. But back at the office, they're like, God, damn, we want a T six. God, you know how much money we'd make. And you know they're going to CBS every like couple months begging them, like. Is there some way? Can we put it in? Is there some way? Eh. No, there isn't. You can't put a T. You cannot put a Constitution class in there at that level. Do you understand? We've only told you this 50 times. 
Yeah, but can we please, but we, will, will we really care? What we did? I said, you cannot use that ship in your game. You've got it in the beginning. That's all you're getting. You're lucky we let you have the bridge. Stop asking. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, because I'm sure they're cryptic. They just, it's like Scrooge's money bin. You know, they, could, they have a bin, and they like know they can fill it with gold coins if they put a T6 Connie out. So, they are not going to, they, if they could get a hold of one, they would have put one in the tier 5 by now. If they could have put a Connie in, they would have put one in a tier 5. So, they ain't going to get one for tier 6. So, let's all stop. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah, they, yeah, Gecko begged for the Excelsior, and they're lucky they got Excelsior. So, never mind, forget the Connie. They're lucky they got Excelsior. You, we should all be thankful that the Excelsior is in the game. That's a beautiful ship. Notwithstanding the whole uh, Star Trek 3 thing where they made the bridge look like something out of a, a 80s nightclub. That ship is a beautiful ship. Okay, we're lucky we got the Excelsior in game. Let's not let's not push let's not push our luck. I uh, look at how long it took them to get the Voyager interior. Okay? I bet it took a long time to get that Voyager interior out of them. Okay? Because I heard them mentioning Voyage Interior like two years ago. More than two years ago, we've heard about that. Oh, uh, the Excelsior has my loves, too. The Excelsior has my love, too. I don't fly it anymore, but I flew it for a long time before I got my Galaxy. Before I got my Fleet Galaxy. I flew my Excelsior for a long time. Next to the Defiant, that's my favorite class of ship, is Excelsior class. Yeah, Excelsior is a, a, is a great boat. She's a beautiful boat. If you look at her lines and everything, she's a beautiful boat. She is... Uh, you know, it's just there's something about that ship that's, I tell you what. And the Ambassador is great. The Ambassador is great, too. Don't get me wrong. But the Excelsior has got my, Excelsior got my number one love. Uh, yeah, that's true. He does have limited time to build stuff. Taco does have limited time. That is true. That is true. Now, this is the only thing that bugs me about this. This is the only thing that bugs me about this. I love interiors. I love the inside of ships. I love the inside ships. Like, I'm a, I'm a Star Wars Galaxy guy. When I used to be able to play stuff in my ship and stuff like that, I just wish. I love the new content. I love all this stuff. But I just wish they would put someone on putting more functionality for the interior of our ships. You know what I mean? To re I know they said they were going to use the foundry to make it. You know, they were going to. Uh, I've heard this for a long time. We're going to use the foundry to leverage. We're going to leverage a foundry somehow so you can place items in your ship or whatever like that. But it really makes me sad. The Star Wars The Old Republic is making player housing where you can play stuff. Now, I've seen their player housing models so far, right? You can play stuff all over the damn place. I mean, there are play, you can place things everywhere. Okay? They have a, like a square system and everything like that. Now, I'm not getting into saying which one is better. You know I'm not doing that. But I'm saying is, I'm sad that it's uh, all this time they haven't done more with the interiors of Starships. Because I swear to God, that is some untapped potential. Do you know what you could... You could sell stuff on the sea store to deck out the inside of your ship. That's a money maker. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a ching-ching money maker. If you were... If I, was, if I was cryptic, I would be thinking, Oh my God, let's hook... You know, because people, be, people would buy Dabo tables and... You know what I mean? They'd buy disco balls and make a club in their starship and everything and everybody running around you know what i mean i mean oh man do you know how much money they could make on if they really did interiors up right mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. so uh that's what I, I would love to see that sometime not that i don't love all the stuff that you know not that but i swear to god they need to work on that for someday because it's been we've been waiting well how long now four years and they still haven't done anything with the interiors. I mean, it's great when they make a bridge for these new ships and all that. And they make, a, you know, the Voyager, the nice new Voyager interior. And they have the Defiant one and they have the Constitution. But you can't do anything in your ship. Not really. Yes, you can go do your duty officers and you can go do all that stuff. But I can do that without going into my ship. When I go on my ship, I want to, you know what I mean? That's what I'd love to see. That's what I'd love to see. They teased that, I don't know how long ago. That I remember when they said, well, we're going to try and use a foundry to leverage a foundry to find a way for you to do your ship interior. You know what I mean? Like how you can place stuff in the foundry? But that never was, a, they were never able to make that work. So, did you, SFC, did you just say impossible in the chat? I will not read that word. I am going to delete that word. 
because impossible does not exist here or anywhere in Star Trek. Obviously, you've never met, if you say impossible, obviously you've never met a Starfleet engineer because there is no such thing as impossible. It's just something that hasn't been done yet. <laughs> um, just ask Garrett Wong. He apparently is going to get promoted to captain. So if he can get promoted to captain, anything can happen in the universe. Anything. Anything. Whew. So is there anything I'm missing, guys? So I'm going to turn it over to you guys. Is there anything that I am missing that I need to mention right now that we can confirm, that we can say for sure? Don't want to put any out any rumors. No rumors here. Anything substantial, any bullet point that I missed? So I'm going to, the chat takes a, we're time, this is a time travel thing. So the chat's got to take a minute to actually catch up to what I just said. There's a lot of stuff happened today. All right, new cues. I didn't mention new cues. So there's going to be new, I think, is it new player versus player cues and P versus E cues? Or is it just P versus E? I heard that there's going to be new P versus P, P versus uh, player versus player cues. But I don't know if there's going to be both. That, from the ones we worked on by the development of sphere of influence and surface tensions. We do not know. Okay, so we do not know. We just know there are going to be new cues of something. Possibly P versus E, we don't know. There's going to be cues of something. So... <laughs> Voyager office east or sale to come. Uh, redacted. We are redacted. We have we all information regarding this is redacted. Security clearance Alpha Blue Delta Vega required to access Q information. Deep. The inside in Lowy store now. Yeah, it is. Yep. I've got I got all those outfits. I just never wear them. I'm I wear my winter coat all the time. <laughs> Oh, all right. So I guess that's it. So are we all set now? Did we get all the news down? Do we get everything out that we needed to talk about for the expansion for right now? So next week on the show, we will start off. I'll start off. Um, I will somehow, some way, get a hold of the uh, panel, and we will play it next week and uh, go to town on that. So let me see if I can actually get the game up. That took a lot of time. That was a lot of stuff. Uh, let me see. So, we will do... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Aha! It's a game! Look at that! Hey! Oh! Where's my... Where's my thing here? Who's that next to me? Oh, wow. That That's, that's an optical... That's an optical conclusion right there. I like those. Oh, Corbin Downs and HG. -E what is that? A USS HG -E Wells. I like that. That's pretty cool. I like that name. I like that name. Uh, all right, let me turn that down. Turn that up. Oh, I have one of those in storage. I haven't broken out yet. Do I, I don't know if I have that out or not. I have the temporal ship, so I don't know if I've actually broken them out or not. Don't see that Cardassian ship anymore. Very often, I love seeing all the people that play this game. I love seeing all these ships out there. If anybody ever says Star Trek Online is not a health is not healthy, I would love to know. Does anyone know offhand? I they don't announce this, but does anyone know if it's leaked anywhere? If anybody knows how, what what is the what is the player uh, base on this? Because it seems to me there'd be a lot of concurrent login or a lot of people playing concurrently. It would seem. I mean, how many how many instances of a Bajor sector do we have right now? How many how many instances going on? Oh, we only have three. Oh well, no wait, look look, we got 73, 11, and 56 just in this Bajor sector. Wow, 73. No, I'm not going to transfer. Doctor Moomin. Um, I've got the fleet one. So basically, it, yeah, the galaxies are similar. Like it's just like the the fleet one is basically the same, but it just has better shields and everything, uh, an extra slot, you know, better shields. Uh, but it's pretty comparable. It's pretty comparable. It's just beefier, you know. It's, yeah, it's beefier. It's just beefier. Pure. 
Now, I get some good damage. You guys have seen me. I get some good damage out of her. Um, not as much as before when we had to pick our traits. You know, when I had all the traits, you know, from all the factions that I have. You know, I had all those traits on this ship. She was a beast. She's still a beast, but not as much of a beast as she used to be. But uh, the Indefatigable, she's a special ship. She's a special ship. All right, so you guys, you guys, you guys uh, probably want to play a... Uh, Plague, uh, P vs. E is what I think is what you said. I'm trying to do Christopher Walken, but I'm totally, um, I'm totally not doing it right now. So I'm going to invite the usual suspects, if you guys are on here, to the team. And we're going to do, we're going to do ourselves a, we're going to do ourselves a special task force. Special, special, special task force. <laughs> um, almost 10k people logged in at most times. That's hey, that's good, Michael. It always seems to me like there's more. It's never, it's never. There's never not a sh not a lot of ships around when I'm in this game. I tell you what, there's never not a lot of ships around. Never. All right. So what do we want to do tonight? Oh, that's my fleet. Really? Uh, actually, before I do that, let me take care of my R and D for the day here. Uh, oh, they're not finished. Oh, well. Uh, what's cannons? I will spend dilithium, but that's the only time I'll ever spend dilithium. Get that little five and unlock my slot. Uh, so one hour and five minutes, one hour and five minutes. So I could start on something. Well, I could start on cannons again. Let's just do cannons again. Uh, yep. What else do I want to do? I want to ground weapons. Do I want to do projectiles? Uh, um, science. Do I want to shields? Shields. I think I want to do shields. I love my Galaxy Retrofit. I love it, Major Guns. I love my Galaxy Retrofit. I love my Galaxy. Didn't it grew on me? Do I want to do shields? What do you think, guys? Should I do shields? Um. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Raise any school level 15. Well, that ain't happening. Not gonna do ground weapons. I could care less about ground weapons. Projectiles. I could care. You know, I'm gonna do shields because, yeah. Why not? Let's do shields. Uh, start class. So, oh, and I'll put. I'm doing cannons, so then I'll do beams and engineering again when they're up. Okay, guys. Uh, what are we doing here? Uh, Ray, I say what? Okay. What drops purple mats? What are we talking about? All those ones that Sir Boulevard just said, they all drop. Uh -huh. Huh? I did it again. Ah, har, har. Uh, I want something spacey. I want something spacey. Oh, is it? Um... Nukara. They're all ground, huh? I don't do. I don't remember last time I done a Nukara. What about Rhino Station? Let's do that one. Where is that? Defend Rhino Station Elite. Uh. All right, guys, you're gonna have to carry me through this. Do you think you guys can carry me through this? Because I'm gonna be absolutely useless on the ground. <coughs> Just to let you know, I'm gonna be absolutely useless on the ground, so you guys can carry me, right? All right. Wait, ca wait. You coughed afterwards. You coughed afterwards. Why did you cough? All right, I'm gonna join. Okay, we'll go do this. Go do this. We'll go do this. 
You can carry me good, cause I can't do ground. I just, I'm a, I'm a space guy. If you guys don't know already, I'm a space guy. I don't do ground. Star Wars Galaxy, Star Wars Galaxies. I never touched the ground. I stayed up in my YT or my mining vessel or whatever, and I just crafted and stuff. And I never, I would sit in the middle of an asteroid belt with like a bunch of uh, Tie Fighters or Tier whatever around, and I would just sit there and craft. And the Tie Fighters could never damage my ship, so I could just sit there and people wouldn't bother me, cause as soon as they came in, the Tie Fighters would blow them up. <laughs> Uh. Oh, Noxus Gas Drones. Ah. Thank you, Major Guns. I, I appreciate the mental support. I really do. I love your Dan's emotes. I love Dan. Dan is funny. He's not the same style as me, which is fine, because, you know, we're all different styles. But I love watching him. Have you been watching him lately modding Oblivion? It's just crazy. Now, I mod my games. Like, I mod... Like, I have a modded Skyrim game I need to get back to. You know, I've modded Skyrim and stuff. But the mods he's doing with Oblivion right now are just are just crazy. Are crazy. Um, I mean, he can do it. I know he can do it. If anyone can mod that game, he can. But man, oh man. Wear an EVA suit. Uh, wear an... Uh-oh. Well, okay, so I should put my EVA suit on? Okay, I'm going to put my EVA suit on. Wait, like, okay, guys, when I get in the ground, let me get my EVA suit going here. Uh, uh, okay. Alright, so let me close that. Let me get my... Don't leave it out me, guys. Don't leave it out me. I gotta put an EVA suit on. Because he said it was... I should have one on. Okay. Alright, I got an EVA suit on. There we go, guys. Okay. I'm ready. EVA suit on. Let's go. Yeehaw. All right, all right. I got my awesome, uh, uh, clunky looking. Look at this poor guy, Mark. He's like, "Well, what are these guys doing? I don't understand." Do they know what they're doing? And I'll be like, "No, no, I don't know what I'm doing." Uh, what do I do? Exit damage control. All right, I'm ready. Who am I following? Oh god, I'm gonna follow you, SSC. I'm gonna follow you. They're attacking me! Ah, what do I do? I got one on me! What do I. Get off me! <laughs> I'm gonna take the drone out. I'm. That guy's going down. Hey, the, is the gas, gas ain't affecting me. It's affecting that other guy, but it ain't affecting me. Where am I getting flanked from? Oh, gotta be that guy. Uh-oh. Yeah! Ooh. I don't know if I'm doing a good job or not, but I'm shooting stuff. I don't know if I'm doing good, but I'm shooting stuff. Get out of here. What the? Get off me! Ah, uh, Hey, you know, it's not bad with this suit on, I gotta say. Alright, so now what? Do I go after these things that progress? See, I don't do these... I don't do these ground things. What do I do with that? Uh-oh, I get the feeling we failed. Oh, I should have put turrets down and stuff. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm like so freaked out. I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now. Oh, I'm not I'm not looking too good, am I, guys? I failed you. I failed all of you. You need to shoot the leech devices. Well, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Oh, oh! Get him, get him, get him! I should just put. Maybe I should just. Oh, I see him. Wow, they were. That was quick. Oh. 
Oh, I can't put turrets down. Okay. All right, I'm looking. Aha, the gas isn't affecting me because I have a suit on. Get off me, get off me. Get off. Where you going, son? Don't run. Gotcha, gotcha, ha ha ha. All right. Oh, I didn't see you down there. Coming, I'm coming, I gotcha. I gotcha, you're up, get up. Hey, I didn't know it was you on the ground, SFC. Was that you on the ground? I'm sorry. I didn't realize that was you. All right. I need to speak with you in damage control. I don't think I did good. Did I do good? Link, I didn't post any link. Oh, I don't think you are back. They're abducting the repair teams. Mm. Get out there and stop them. Don't mind that green stuff on me. Alright. Uh, oh, I think I'm getting the hang of this now. I think I'm getting the hang of this now. I think I'm getting the hang of this now, guys. Be nice if I could put a turret down. Be nice if I could put a turret down. Oh, I'm dead. I am dead. Oh, geez, I'm dead. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. There we go. All right, seal it up. Come on, come on, I got a medical thing over here. Yeah, come on over this way, Mike. Mike, come on over this way. Come on over this way. Oh, I can put my turrets on. There we go. Did we do good there? I think that was good, right? Let's go. Where are we going? I'm following you. Wait, I'm getting hit by something. There you are. I'm, I'm going. I'm going. Alright, that wasn't you. I thought that was you. I thought that was you. SMC. Oh, you're leading me into the belly of the beast. Come on. Oh my goodness. I need to speak with you in damage control. Our power problems are under control, but there's an Alachi force in main engineering trying to sabotage our singularity core. Take him out. See, this is how often I do ground missions. This is why I don't do ground missions. This is why I do space missions. Enemy target on center. Personal shield losing 
Whoa, baby. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh, I got it. The hell is a trick? <sighs> Good job, everybody. Good job. Good carry, guys. Good carry. I know what that is, but I'll take it. Sure. I'll hit need. Oh, what do I get out of my box? Sure. I got the advanced. Oh, Cray I got Kralin too, yeah. So I guess everybody got the same thing. Oh, wow, I got seven. Not bad. Oh, I got a bonus package. Hmm. Hmm. Not that I need Romulan marks. I've got a ton of Romulan marks. Well, that was that. Yeah, that was nice. That worked out. Triple carcass. <laughs> uh, that was good. Good stuff stuff. I didn't have any of that, did I? No, I didn't have any Kralon. Nope. Works out. That works out. Awesome, guys. Alright, I'm going to leave map. The turrets are like, <laughs> turrets everywhere. Well, that was fun, guys. That was fun. Thanks for carrying me along there. <laughs> Thanks for carrying me along there. Oh boy. So what else? Do we got any good space ones that'll give that, or is it just ground ones? Just ground ones. Hmm. All right. Well, that was a good. You know, that was fun. That was fun. That was fun. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Let's just do one of those. Let's do an effective conduit. Delete. Let's just do one of these. Nice and easy, quick. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh, I forgot to put the team together. Oh, no. No, leave. 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 Oh, shoot! Oh, I'm sorry, guys! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> I forgot we weren't... I forgot we weren't in a team! Son of a gun. Sorry, guys. This might not go well. Am I, only, only, am I the only one hitting this cube? Wow, okay. What the? I mean, I can take on a cube by myself if that's what it needs to be, but why are they messing with the spheres first? Leave the spheres alone, get the cube. Wow, okay. Don't worry, I got this, guys.
Don't worry, I got this, guys. Wow. Wow. Okay. Sure. Wow. Um. Where, where are they going? What's going on? Where are they all here? Oh my God! Why are you hitting the nanite generators? What are you doing? Take the cube out. Take the cube out. Don't hit the nanite generators. Leave them alone to the end. Oh my goodness. I got a I got a bad feeling about this. I got a bad feeling about this. Okay, why am I not firing? Why are my weapons not firing? Hello, why are my weapons not firing? There we go. What the Who's that? Yeah, look at that. He already destroyed one. Already destroyed one. Oh my lord. Well, that's it. I swear to God. I swear to freaking God. How hard is it to coordinate destroying them all at once? We, we, you, they, why are you hitting the gate? Why are you hitting the freaking gate? Destroy the generator. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guess you never played this before, huh? This is Star Trek Online. Just so they I don't think they know. It's not we're not gonna make it before the, one of those spears get over here. You don't even you wouldn't even need to hold them off over there with a gravity well if you just you know, took care of business. I'm sorry, do I sound overly critical right now? I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to, but... Dang. I mean, I, okay, we got away with it, but there that's not... We shouldn't have got away with that. I'm awful, aren't I? I'm awful. I'm, I'm too super critical on these STFs, aren't I? I mean, I know I'm no all pro and everything, I got that, but there is a way, you know. I mean, at least this one. I mean, I've done this one a million times and everything, so at least on this one, I know what to do. You know what I mean? I may not know many other ones, but I do know this one. So I've done this way too often. Oh, why are you hitting the gateway now? Leave it alone. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Go get the cube, guys. Go get the friggin'. Mm -hmm. Go get the cube. Get the cube. Get the cube. Oh, I miss you guys right now. I really miss you guys right now. I miss you guys a lot right now. <laughs> Alright, now. Let us... All right, we're all banging on. Oh my God! Somebody already destroyed one. <sighs> well, it don't matter now. It don't matter now. Let's just all pile on that one. Then. Disarm your weapons. You will escort us to your own world, where we will begin assimilating your culture and technology. Oh my God. Oh my god!
shouldn't have to hold them off over there. Shouldn't ha you shouldn't have to hold them off over there. You can do this so much quicker if you just... Apparently me and Hamilton over here are old school. <laughs> Apparently we're just, we do it old school, I guess. Blow up? Did he just blow up? Oh my god. What are they doing banging on the tack cube? Oh my god. Am I wrong? Am I doing this all wrong? Have I been doing it wrong all my No, I haven't. Why are they fighting the attack cube? Take out the gateway. Leave the attack cube alone. Oh, what is going on? Let me clean up the mess. I'll clean up the mess. I mean, yeah, it's not me, right? I'm yeah, taking a ride on the pug train. I'm feel I'm taking a ride on the pug train. I don't know what they're doing. We should be done already. We should be done already. We should be done already and moving on with our lives. Uh, let me time to actually move. Why are they attacking the attack cube? What is going on here? Oh my god! What are you doing? Oh my god, what the hell? What are you me with? Wow. What the... What are they doing? Oh my god, now we go, now we go after the attack cube boys and girls, now we do it, not before, now. I'm gonna get his attention pretty soon, I'm telling you that.
I'm getting a little bit of lag here. I don't know what the hell is going on. I might want to think about getting a heck out of Dodge. There's going to be a big kaboom pretty soon. I don't might not want to be right up close. Oh, oh, he's found me. He's found me. He's found me. Oh, that's all you got, Tech Cube? That's all you got? I got some of that. I got some of that. That's all right. I got it. Don't worry. Come on. Bring it out. What? What? No way. No way. No way. No way. That's right. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Am I wrong or was that just totally messed up? There is no way we should have succeeded at that. All right? Am I wrong? There is no way we should have succeeded at that STF. Those gates should have been healed by the nanite uh, 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 spheres and all that. I mean, there is no way. It's just, there's no way. There's no way that should have, there's no way that should have worked. I, um, I'm in shock at that whole thing. I mean, listen, like I said... I may not be very, I mean, I'm, I'm, I need to be carried on a lot of stuff in this game. I'm not no all pro, no, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm not MLG material, but I know this game, and I know that STF. I may not know most of these STFs. I might not sit here and do them all the time and all that, but I know this STF, and that was just ugly. That was just not, we're, we are so lucky they didn't heal those gateways. And what are they doing attacking the attack cube before you've taken down that large gateway? I mean, or the... Ugh. No, I'm not too good. Don't get me wrong, I'm too good. But I know my role. Like, I know my... I know the method on this map. I know... I know the procedure on this STF. You know what I mean? Um, wow. I got some, I got some of what you want, Huckleberry. I think I think they I think they're gonna be my huckleberries now. Yeah, they aren't hard major guns. They aren't, but you have to know the method. You have to know them. Like I don't know all the STFs method because I don't do them over and over again. You know what I'm saying? Like I I don't grind out STFs. This is not me. But I grind out this STF. You know what I'm saying? Like I've ground out this STF uh, and the cure too. Uh, the cure I've done too. But those two I know. I do know those two because I've done them so many times, and that was that was ridiculous. There's no way that should have. We there's no way we should have should have succeeded with the alternate objectives. There's just no way. No way. But we did. I got the turd dip dip. I got the dip <clears throat> party. <laughs> Well, that took way longer than it should have. Uh, let's see what we got. Advanced. What did we get out of that? Uh, yeah. Use. Catalyst plus 10 skill rating. Yeah, okay. I think that's my first catalyst. Yeah, it's my first catalyst. Cool. Uh, yeah. 
Omega marks I don't really need. Make some money, 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 money. All right, what do we want to do? Okay, okay. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to end the Star Trek Saturday Night right now. Um, I'm going to end the episode. So that's, again, going to be the ep in episode 34. Sorry to go out with an STF like that. I feel bad. I feel like I, we, we will have a post show now. We're going to do a post show. We're going to uh, have a, a run another STF. Uh, but this is going to be the end of the uh, Star Trek Saturday Night part portion of the show. Um, I feel bad. I feel like I was super was I super critical of those guys because I feel bad um, I feel bad but I feel like if you're doing an elite STF like that you should kind of know the way it goes maybe a little bit kind of sorta maybe I don't know I mean if it was a regular STF you know like the regular version of it then who cares you know what I'm saying but that's the elite version I don't know could you do you think me I hate to sound I feel like I'm sounding back so I'm not one of those kind of guys that is like people you know get down on people but they were like not even close to the to the script there I mean we we made it so maybe I'm wrong to say anything maybe I should have shut my mouth through the whole thing and just whatever but I don't know I feel like we shouldn't have made it through there I feel like we shouldn't have done that um so they earned it you think so sir well right there okay well all right, I still feel bad, but we made it, so you know what? I guess it was all good. So, all right, so that's gonna be it for episode 34 of Star Trek Saturday Night. Uh, I appreciate everybody tuning in. We went through a lot of stuff. Uh, Delta Rising. So more information is coming next week on the show. We're going to have hopefully the developer panel. I will play that for you, and uh, yeah. So hopefully we'll get a look at that next week, and you'll be able to hear everything from their mouth itself. But I think we got a lot of the. I think we went over a lot of the the, the high points there. A lot of the a lot of the bullet points so all right so if you missed the show or you want to see it again or anything like that i'm going to be posting this one up on youtube uh it'll probably be two parts a part one and a part two because uh you know it's, it's longer than a, like a you know an hour or so or whatever so it'll probably end up being a two-part episode uh up there so part one and a part two uh tomorrow um I, in fact when i get off tonight i got a lot of work to do because tomorrow your truck sunday convoy is going to be patch 1.11 uh, I'm going to try and hit the new cities in the patch, and I believe there's new pro mods out, but i got to check on that, but I know they wanted to release pro mods with the new patch, so there might be, tomorrow might be a big show, as far as that goes. So it might be pro mods 1.7 and patch 1.11, so uh, big show tomorrow, big show. So I'm going to be doing a lot of testing tonight, after I get off of here, I think, trying to make sure everything in your truck works. So, um, tentatively tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, it could slide to be a little later depending if everything doesn't work or does work so we'll have to see so anyways thanks for tuning in to star trek saturday night this week i appreciate it episode 34 i will see you next week 10 30 p.m saturday for episode 35 not sure what it is probably going to be mainly like the de development panel uh showing that and we'll probably get in a couple of stfs or something so thanks for watching guys uh, live long and prosper And cut. Okay. All right. God, I was awful in the STF. Now that I'm thinking about it, I was awful. They're gonna people are gonna watch that and they're gonna they're gonna listen to me talking about these guys in the STF. They're gonna think what an a hole he was. What a a hole he was. What an a hole he was. All right, guys. Let's get into another STF. Let me make sure I invite all you guys. Let me make sure. Do 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 da 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 Just post the co uh, conversation part, yeah. No. Maybe you should post that SDF or what not to do in the STF. What not to do and still and still get the alternate objective. All right. So what do we want to do? You want to do the cure? It's been a while since I did the cure. Or what? Or what? Okay. Can we do that one again? Let's do this, defend the Rhino. You want to do this one again, defend Rhino Station? You want to do that again? So we see if we can get some... Oh, wait. That's not the Elite version. All right. You want to do the station again? One of the best guns in the game. Really? 100% shield penetration. What? Hmm. I guess I'll have to get me one of those. All right. So you want to do this one again, guys? 
Okay, let's do it again. I think I kind of know what I'm doing. And I still got my space suit on. I still got my EVA suit on, so. <laughs> uh, well, so we'll do this one again, and I'll call it a night. And I'm going to... Although, you know, I might get back on. Who knows? I'm going to work on Euro Truck for a while. And I feel I'm kind of... It's kind of weird. I feel like doing some Minecraft tonight. Isn't that strange? I feel like doing Minecraft tonight. I don't know why. I just... I just suddenly have this real like itch to like go do some mining tonight. I don't know why. I should really go work on Euro Truck and get that ready, but I got this itch. You're level 12 ground. Oh, that would be nice, you sir, Lord. I appreciate that. Thank you. That would be pretty cool. Thanks. <clears throat> level 12 and ground weapons. Oh, are my other things done? Did my R&D finish? No, that would have seen a blinking thing. 25 minutes remaining. <clears throat> So. Oh, Michael, you said cure after I already went galactic craft. <laughs> I feel like doing something creative right now for some reason. I don't know why. I feel like, um, you know what I mean? I don't know why. You know, you ever get the feeling just you just have an itch of doing something? I just have the itch of doing something. Oh. Galactic Craft. <laughs> Do a little. Oh, I could just think of the name Midnight Minecraft. Chick chick a pow wow. <laughs> we're gonna lay, we're gonna sit down and do some Midnight Minecraft for all you uh, for all you uh, uh, ladies out there, <laughs> whatever guys and ladies. We're gonna do some. We're gonna do some midnight Minecraft. Oh yeah! Chick chick a pow wow! All right, what do I do? Do I? Uh... Oh, I don't have my spacesuit on. Oh, gotta get my spacesuit on. All right, everybody, pile on the ladder at once. Well, what are we doing? Are we all just? Oh, we're waiting. There's a timer. There's a timer right there. It says 18 seconds. So, <laughs> um, I suppose now would be odd time to mention I'm a gamer. I swear, but not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not, that wouldn't be my. You know, speaking of indie stuff, I gotta get back to doing Splunky and Rogue Legacy and all that stuff. I, I haven't played those games in a while. Yeah, I have a lot of admiration for that. Um, a lot of admiration for that. I wish I could do something creative like that. Fortunately, I can just sit here like a. All, all I can do is sit here like a trained monkey and dance for you guys. All right, let's get down to business. Watch your device. I'm going right for the devices. I'm not even bothering anything else. I'm just going right for the devices. If that's the thing we got to do, that's the thing I got to do. Get off me! Get off me! I got a device to get. Oh, I didn't get it in time. Mother, mother, mother pus bucket. Remember, everybody, bring your spice suit. If you don't bring your spice suit, you can't be protected from the awful gas. Yeah, you little skitterer. I see you. Oh, God. You're dead. Where are you? Come on, come on. I see progress. I'm with you. I'm with you. Where's up? Go. Yeah, Shovel Knight is pretty awesome. I haven't gotten into it the way I want to, but um, I, I like. I love the idea. It's like a, and it's really nice looking. Everything. I, I like it. I like it. I really want to. I haven't been able to give it the time it deserves. You know what I mean? Like I got a too many games, too little time. There's too many games to play, and I can't. 
That's why I need to go. That's why I need to get like a. That's why we need to get like a thousand people. While, like uh, no, not a thousand at once. Yeah, forget that. Like a hundred people watching me at a time. That way I can uh, get a sub button. I can do this all the time. I can sit on here for like eight or ten hours a day and play games for you guys. I think I'm doing good, but I'm really not, probably. I am not doing good. Am I not doing I'm not doing good. I've only destroyed 14 devices. That's pretty pathetic, I think. What? Oh, there's a device right there. Yeah, I got one. Got one. Come on, come on, spawn over here. What? Oh, you got three turrets, son. Hold on, here it comes. I need to see damage control. Oh. My people aren't responding. I think the Alachi are back, and they're abducting the repair team. You think? Get out there and stop them. You, you think the Alachi are back, huh? Is that just a wild guess, or do you got proof of that? Is that something you're sure about, or is that just like a guess? Because, I mean, all those Alachi we just fought is not like a tip-off or nothing, because, you know. <sighs> Where are we going? What are we doing here? Hey, yo. Oh. problem buddy no problem Tranya oh I like Tranya I like Tranya I'm following you guys whoa hey stay down son stay down I'm an engineer with an attitude I'm your worst nightmare yippee ki yay you know the rest. Oh, he got me. Oh, he got me. I'm down. I'm down. Help me. I'm down. Somebody come and revive me. All right, guys. Take care. <laughs> take care, guys. Hey, there we go. Look who came back for me. Look who came back for me. What a guy. Are we done down there? What a guy. What a gentleman. So the scholar and a gentleman. See, that's why he has a Medal of Honor. That's why he has a Medal of Honor. Leave no man behind.
I'm shooting something. I need to speak with you in damage control. Hmm. Our power problems are under control, but there's an Alachi force in main engineering trying to. Are you sure it's Alachi? We weren't Take quite sure out. before. Are you sure it's Alachi? Hmm. Oh, I love a good blood wine, but oh, I'm a passion now. Are you sure it's an Alachi? Enemy targets on sensors. Ah, a lot of people coughing, but I'm not coughing. I'm not coughing. Captain Freak! Captain Freak, welcome. Up the phone. Oh, there we go. Welcome to the Yeti K. Thanks for following the channel. I appreciate it. We've got some Romulan Ale for you in the back. If you like it. Or Tranya. Either one. Um, you're more than welcome to any of the refreshments. Walking. What did I get? Uh, got some blue. And oh, argon gas. Okay. I don't really need any Romulan Romulan uh, marks, but. I saw Trinia balls from Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I do too. But that's a diff That's a that's a long story right there. It involves a certain female lieutenant. Oh, wait a minute! You're talking about something. Oh, you're talking about something else. I'm am sorry, Sir Boulevard. Um, yeah, yeah, Trinia balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Okay, so uh, how long until we can do? Oh, we can just keep doing that. Hey, let's do it again, guys. Let's do it one more time. Let's get, let's just do it one more thing. You want to do it one more time? Let's do it one more time. Let's see if we can do better. I'm actually having fun with that map. Let's do it. Let's do it one more time. You guys in for one more time? They should have an option where you can, like, just keep the team together. You should have to keep reinviting. In game, in game, yeah, no, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm talking about, yeah, I'm talking about in game, I'm talking about in game. Yeah, I was this certain young lieutenant I met uh, during the Winter Wonderland event, and uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Again, I'm digressing. I'm, you know, I'm. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm not a uh, probably different, different, different ones than, I, than you're talking about. <laughs> Uh. Oh, you only team if it's five people. Oh, okay. All right. One more time. So I think I've gotten my first purple R&D stuff out of this tonight. Yeah, I haven't ground any packages out of any of these STFs. I don't have, I haven't had the time. I haven't had the time. You see me, guys. I'm on here broadcasting all the time. I mean, it's like I can stop doing Euro Truck, or I can stop doing Marvel Heroes, or I can stop doing any of that stuff. You know what I mean? So. But I'm having fun. I'm having fun in that thing. That's pretty fun. It's nice and it's actually pretty simple. I just wish a jum jum fu jum ja fudge didn't budge, didn't bug. Oh, well, my jum jum my jum jum fudge didn't bug. I mean, it worked pretty. Oh, wait a minute again, again. I'm sorry. I was talking about the lieutenant. Ah, oh, I thought you were talking. I'm sorry. I was talking about something else again, Sir Volvert. I am so sorry. <laughs> ah, wow. Sorry about that. 
Again, I'm talking about something totally different. Don't even ask me what happened with the spatula. Ugh. Oh, I mean... <laughs> oh, it was a quite a, it was quite a nice winter wonderland this year, I tell you. <laughs> that got Captain... That got Captain Freak over. That woke Captain Freak... That woke Captain Freak up. <laughs> No, I don't have a dirty... No, 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 not a dirty mind at all. I, I'm i just, you know, it was a beautiful thing. It was a beautiful thing. I don't know. <laughs> I've done piety 72 times. I, I, uh, okay, uh, again, I'm talking something different. Never mind. Yes, piety, yes, piety 72 times. Yep, definitely. I've queued up. I queued us up, haven't I? I did. Okay, we're in the queue. Okay. Well, you would think since it's giving out purple R and D, there would be people just falling all over themselves to do this tonight, or any night, or any time. Oh, there we go. Once again, I'll forget to put my EVA suit on. <laughs> ah. Destroy the dev devices. Dev devices. Destroy devices. Don't destroy the devices. Destroy the devices. Destroy the typos. Destroy the typos. They cannot be allowed to survive. Oh, did I put my space on? Yes, I did. Hmm. Everything's gone black. I can't see. China. Make some magic. Guess we're all going in here from now on. Where's your device? All I care about is the device. Enemy on oh. Device. What? Oh my god, that was quick. Wait. Aha! Got it! One device down. Devisey down. Ah, uh, scary scavenger, huh? I see ya. Oh, I see ya, son! Gotcha. Gotcha. Thought you'd hide from me, huh? Thought you could hide from me, but you're wrong. I'm gonna go in the other room check it out. Hmm. What the? Get off me! Get the device! It's right there, guy! Gage, get that device! Yeah! There you go. I'm all about destroying devices. Wait. Well, 
No, I don't want you. I want... Oh, I just got a... The, the, there it is. Hurry, 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 hurry! Got it. Oh yeah, we got thir what thirty four destroyed. Flanking damage detected. Flanking uh -oh. damage detected. Got him. Hey, not bad, 36. Not bad at all, 36. My people aren't responding. I think the Alachi are back, and they're abducting the repair teams. Get out there and stop. I can tell you for sure they're back. I can absolutely tell you for with certainty they are back. Yeah, hey, we're we're getting good at this, Rovar. We're getting good at this, huh? We're almost competent. Almost getting can be competent at this. Oh, that's a that's a cover shield. Enemy on oh, nothing like a. Enemy Bye guys. Wow, nothing like just running out, huh? Nothing to rescue here. It's all they've all been rescued already. We're coming. I got some kind of alkaline. Going, son. Damage detected. Personal shield losing Where's the last one? Where's the last one? Where's the last one? I need to speak with you in damage hmm. control. Our power problems are under control, but there's an Alachi force in main engineering trying to sabotage our singularity core. Take him out! Take him out! I can do that. Take him out, take him down, take him, take him through, take him, whatever you guys do.
Yes! <clears throat> not bad, not bad at all. <clears throat> not bad. Hey, and a complete emergency research project. That's a pretty good run. That's a pretty good run. We did pretty good that run. I think that's our best run. I think of all the runs, that was the best one. I think that was the best one of all. Okay. What should we get? Ooh, no purple. No purple. No purple. All right, and we're filled up. Yeah, we're filled up. Uh, yeah, I got blues too. No purples here. No purples here. I got a blue. I got some. I got some blues. I got some blues. <laughs> some blues. I got some blues. All right. Um, all right. So I think that's gonna be it for Star Trek Online. 